Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be covering App TVO's new update or new upcoming update. Um, I just wanted you guys to showcase you the stuff that has been going on in TVO and I hope you guys appreciate it. In this video, we're going to be covering up the important stuff and the buildings, which is the, the map revamp. I'm going to show the pictures at the end of the video, so... Stick around. Before we go to the video, I want you all to like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Link is down in the description, as well as Marble Scoop, and let's get into it. So the new TVO revamp is basically about a map. A new TVO update is basically about a map revamp. Okay, there is some outfits and there is some spells and also a new game pass. Let's go and cover all this up. So the first outfit that I saw is Bonnie Bennett's outfit it absolutely looks amazing with the crown and everything i absolutely love it um what can i say the outfit looks good the necklace the crown the hair i love 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 this outfit and it's probably gonna be my main outfit when i play as bonnie in the game the next thing i want to show you guys is the new ui um Personally, I prefer the old UI, but this UI also looks good. And if we see up there, we can look at the, like there's a writing said new moon and there's a time um, under it, which could mean something like they're going to add a full moon, which means we're going to see more werewolves, which means, which means a lot of stuff. So basically what it means is that werewolves are coming to the game. There's a full moon. And there's a time which can be morning and night, and you can see it um, by showing see the PM or AM. Uh, as you can see, the outfit of Bonnie in the game it looks amazing. The background look witchy. I'm not sure if you collect vampires, you will see a different background or not. But I absolutely love the witchy background with the witches section. I hope they can make a little bit like different for other creatures like if it's a vampire they can show like i don't know a castle or something i would love to like for them to do that but personally i love the background i love how bonnie's standing there it's absolutely cool amazing and here's a video actually of the full um ui so watch it It's Ketsia. As you guys saw in the video, Ketsia got an a new um, outfit, her blue outfit, like when she was back in 2000 years ago. That outfit is absolutely amazing. I love how it looks. Um, I also got my answer for the background. Apparently, it doesn't change when you change the creature, but I still think it's amazing. Um, the camera movement is also pretty accurate pretty good uh overall i think it's actually a good change for the game yeah i actually love it i love the dress i love bunnies it's good yeah it's really good and here's the picture with hope michelson with the new ui but in the game as you can see now there's a picture near the like health and magic and stuff like that uh did hope get a nerf on her magic i thought or a buff wait 
How much did Hope have? Like, this one has 2,500. Anyways, um, it's good. If you can see, the keybinds are much smaller. And yeah, I think it's absolutely a bit different. But it's not that different, which is really good. Uh, I love the new UI. It's absolutely really good. Also, the new outfit. I forgot to talk about the new outfit from uh, when she fought Ken, I think. It's also really good. Uh, probably gonna be my main outfit when I play as Hope. Next we have is Ketsia Wetsia Red Dress. Wait, that's not red. That doesn't look red, but they said it's a red dress. I don't know. But the hair, I'm in love with the hair though uh i don't know about the dress it looks good but the hair is absolutely amazing it's my favorite uh this is ketsia she a period we also have bonnie's new outfit definitely not gonna be my main at all i hated her when she wore the outfit in the show um some of you guys will love the outfit but my main outfit is probably gonna be the like the one with the crown i think it was like a miss mystic falls outfit if i'm not mistaken but yeah that's definitely gonna be my main and now we're moving on to the first spell reveal which is a trial explosion as you guys know it was before the revamp and now it's back to the revamp too so let's watch it's kids see So I can tell already that there is a bit of a difference uh, from the pre-revamp. The pre-revamp used to only attack one person when you do the spell. Now it kind of like attacks everyone. It like kind of like explode for everyone around that explosion. Um, I'm not sure how it works exactly. Maybe you have to aim your mouse to the area before casting the spell. Which I think is kind of like not as powerful as it used to be before because now we can run away from it. If you see the trail, you can only run and then you won't be affected. But before, even if you run, the spell will cut up to you and does a lot of damage. But I'm so happy that the spell's back, obviously. But I kind of like wished it wasn't an area spell. Cause like we have a lot of area spells and the more area spells the more chaotic the server will be but even this is good and i'm glad the spell is back and now we're gonna see hope reveal hope spell reveal the japanese purse spell um i love it just watch okay so there's a lot to talk about okay um first of all this spell is absolutely cool um i don't know if uh jake is gonna give more credit to dark josie than hope but what i can see is that obviously the spell takes a lot it covers a lot of ground as you can see with the effect it takes like far away from her which like i don't know the whole mystic falls center probably uh the particle looks amazing obviously the animation also amazing um what can i say like i'm not sure if it does damage or only knocks people out and also i'm not sure if it does more damage or less damage than Dr. Josie is since like Dr. Josie is the one who taught you know hope the spell but we just have to wait and see and now we have a Dr. Josie spell so let's see I just bound you to this cabin 
You're trapped here forever. Okay, so in this video, we've seen three reveals so far. I mean, four reveals. First of all, Dr. Josie's outfit, it looks amazing. Second of all, Dr. Josie can levitate to an area of your choosing. I believe if you hold your mouse there and then you click some sort of keybind or something, you can levitate there. You don't have to like move, like move with the keyboard or anything. I'm not sure again, but that's what it looks like. It's amazing. Third of all, um, you can open the door with a telekinetic push. And like, fourth of all, there's a like trap spell as well, like Finitis. If he does this spell, I think you like trap the target for like 30 seconds or something. And also the voice line looks absolutely amazing. Um, it's a lot of reveals in one reveal, which I absolutely love it. There's also Elena's house, I think. I mean, amazing. I love this reveal, Dr. Josie. Um, also, it was confirmed by the owner, Jake, that Dr. Josie is getting a health buff. So, y'all bitches who say Dr. Josie is weak are gonna flop in the next update because she's probably gonna get 400 plus health, if not 500. I wish, I hope she get 500. But yeah, <clears throat> Dr. Josie will eat with the changes. And finally, not finally, but finally we have a Bonnie reveal. Um, crush your skull without even flinching. I can crush your skull without even flinching. Bonnie is gonna get an insta kill for free characters and a 250 damage for game pass characters with this ability. This ability just made Bonnie a whole more powerful than ever, okay? Let me tell you, if she, she only needs now, now she only needs two keybinds, basically. Crush this call and scream with the, like, psychic power. That's it, and, and the target is dead. If they are, like, not dead, just doing Cynthia, period, they're dead. That make, this ability makes Bonnie a whole more powerful than ever. Um, I absolutely love it. I hope that her price doesn't go up and if you consider buying Bonnie after this I would 100% say buy her she's now more worth it than ever next we have is Dahlia reveal my favorite bitch um let's look at the video Okay, so this video is basically showing a Dahlia's new blood location spell or locator spell. Hold on, they said that she will then automatically teleport to them. This is a very good spell. I loved it. Um, it's very important. It's much more informative and it's much more effective than other um, locator spell. You basically locate them and then teleport them immediately, which you can then kill them. Period. That's actually pretty cool. I love this new reveal. And again, Dahlia got a new attack combo. Let's look at it. Okay, so let me explain one thing. Um, this is not an insta kill. Uh, as Jake said, it's because the Esther is a doll. It's not a real player. They only have 100 health, which it killed them. Which basically means either the spell has 100 health damage or more than 100 health damage, which is pretty cool. And the combo is absolutely amazing. She didn't do that in the show, but she, they came up with this. Um, yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's good to have her. Uh, we have in Ado's outfit, the white outfit that we had before the revamp other than that it looks absolutely more amazing and much more cool than it used to look before um 
probably gonna be my main outfit when I play as an Ado. I loved it, absolutely amazing. And if you look around, you will see a oh, there is blood and there is candles. Okay, that could mean one two things. Either um, they revamped her immortality spell, like she needs to sacrifice someone before she goes immortal, or she can sacrifice people to gain more power. One of those two. Or it could be nothing and I'm just flopping. Anyways, uh, if it's like she can sacrifice someone to, to, get, uh, to gain real immortality, which is going to be really, really cool, I would love for her. I would love that for her. And if also she can sacrifice people and get um, more power, that would be also more, more, more amazing. I absolutely encourage that. Pretty cool. Next, we got Heretics. And I always tell you guys, always buy Heretics. Always. If your account doesn't have a Heretic Game Pass, what are you waiting for? They are literally never taken and they are literally very, very uh, important and very powerful. Now let's look at the video. And now, that actually, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Oh my god, guys, I love it. Okay, so, the heretic combo is basically you siphon them, and then after you, like, siphon them until, like, they're pretty weak, you hit them with your vampire strength to the face, which does them a lot of damage. I mean, I love this new combo. It's gonna be very helpful. It's gonna make heretics even more worth it. And what we saw is Valerie. I'm not sure... If all the heretics will have it. I mean it says heretic. Which basically means Valerie, Nora and Mary. But it could, it could also mean only Valerie. I don't know. I hope it means all of them. And amazing. It's going to help a lot in combos. Uh, Josie also got a new fit. It's absolutely pretty amazing. I love it. Harvest Divina also got a new fit. Wow. Pretty cool. And we got a new free character called Olivia Parker or Liv Parker. Let's look at her reveal. Okay, okay, she might be she might be one of the strongest three characters in the game. I mean, she also got a custom modus ability where she puts people and she also got a push another push where she does a lot of damage. As you can see, the dummies usually has 100 health and she almost killed them, which means this would take either 95 or 90 damage. Both of the keybinds. Brought compulsion back, as you can see. Let's watch, let's watch the video. Don't leave. Um, what they said is that we can compel people with in chat commands, and there's also an auto fill, which is pretty cool. Um, it has an animation. It has also a voice line. Absolutely amazing. I love it. New Freya spell, let's look at it. I have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh my god, the voice line. Everything is absolutely amazing. I'm I'm assuming this is a Astralis Lux. Like the Astra Projection spell. And I'm also assuming Astralis Lux is going to be removed, right? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be removed. I, I hope not. Because like this spell can help us a lot, to be honest. 
to make sure we don't get thrown out of the map, to make sure we don't get summoned anyways. Um, it's either means that Astralis Locks is going to be removed or Freya is going to have two Astra Projection spells, Astralis Locks and Discussion Spell B. She will be able to use abilities while in Astra Projection? Maybe. I hope so. I really hope so. But yeah. Next we have is Hope Tribrid Combo. Let's look at it. I'm a Tribrid. He can't kill me. Ooh. Okay. So she hits them twice with her wolf claws or whatever. And then she hits them with her vampire. I kind of hoped she includes her witch which side like push them like push them i don't know i kind of wished like it has more but it also includes both of her werewolf and her vampire side which is pretty cool still and next which i'm you have no idea how much excited i am i am to the skies excited literally so jake told us that there's a new game pass coming and he also stated that not, not a single game has ever made that game pass before. Hours later, he showed us this reveal. Watch. Other than the fact that she looks hot and you can tell that she's Emily from far away and other than the fact that the particle looks even more hotter than than the, than the outfit, and you, if you look closer at the tags, you can see the name is Emily. Emily Bennett is coming to the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Omg, I love this. You can see I'm I'm one of the Emily Bennett's big fans. The problem where is that Emily did not do much of abilities in the show. So there is two like two options. First option, they're gonna come up with new abilities that weren't in the show. They're gonna add it to Emily. Second option, um she's not a game pass. Emily is only a coin character and the game pass has not been revealed yet. So we have two. I don't know which one to believe. I want Emily to be a Game Pass so bad that I'm willing to do anything for it. But I also kind of want more like other Game Passes, you know? I want Emily to be a coin character, but I also want another Game Pass. Like, these two options, one of those two, I hope she's a game pass, but I also hope she's a coin character and we can see other game pass. Emily, 8. As you can see, the spell is probably some kind of a protection spell or something. When she blow the... When she blow the necklace in the show. But I'm not sure how they're gonna work it out in the game. But... Gosh, this makes me so much happy. I swear. And the last... The last reveal we have is next snap mechanic. So tribrids, which tribrid, we only have one tribrid, which is hope, and originals are going to have this ability. Let's look at it. I have a better plan. So now you can snap people's neck while you're far away from them. You don't have to get closer to them to snap their neck. And poor Monique Devereaux. She's getting her neck snapped. I love this. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this update is gonna be so good. I mean, TVO usually don't don't come up with an update for like three months or something. But as soon as they come up with an update, the update is really cool. And since the summer is coming, I hope they do more. They do updates more often. Um, what can I say? I'm really excited for the for the for the new update. Let's talk a little bit about, about Emily. If she's really gonna be a game pass, 
How much health do you think she's gonna have? I think 400. 100%. And as for magic, I'm so confused. Because, like, Emily was dressed as one of the most powerful witches in the Bennett bloodline. Well, Sheila said she is the most powerful witch in the Bennett bloodline. Does that mean Emily's gonna have 2000 magic? Like Kitsia? Or does that mean she's gonna have less? Or more? I don't know. I'm confused. And I don't know what you think. But I'm, I'm so hyped to see more and more reveals about Emily. And if you want more exclusive reveals, make sure to boost their Discord server. Make sure to join my Discord server too. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.